Hey guys, it's Lindsay from the blog RepurposingUpcycle.com and I can't wait to show you a fun furniture project that I'm doing today. I've partnered with the brand Retikit to use their product Liquid Wood in a furniture makeover piece with a folding table. Now the cool thing about this product is it is exactly what it says it is. It's little pieces of wood that they formed into a paint. So you can put that paint on virtually any hard surface and make it look like real wood. And that's why I am doing, I chose to do a folding table makeover because I'm gonna conform the top of the folding table, that old plastic into what I'm hoping will look like a beautiful piece of wood. Let me talk about the Retikit products I'm gonna use real quick. The first thing is obviously the Retikit liquid wood. I'm going to use two coats of this and on the second coat is when I'm going to use the graining tool to make it actually look like real wood. Now the second thing I'm going to do after I've done the liquid wood is use a stain. I'm going to be using the Retikit gel stain in Java. I'll talk about what stains you can use with this product when I get to this point. And the last thing I'm going to use is a Retikit polyurethane, uh, a clear coat to make sure it stays durable. The first thing you're going to need to do before you do any painting is to prepare the surface. Uh, what that requires is basically just cleaning it off and making sure there are no dust particles. The liquid wood does not require the surface to be stripped of paint or polyurethane, which is great. It will go over virtually any hard surface. Once your surface is clean and prepped, what you're going to do is grab your paintbrush, make sure it's a synthetic one, grab your stir stick, and grab your liquid wood. Okay? And it says on the top, make sure you stir it real well. Just like that. And you might have to continue to stir it as you paint. Once it's stirred really well, dip your paintbrush into the liquid wood and just start to paint. And don't worry about brush strokes. This is gonna be the first layer. It's not gonna look pretty and that's okay. I'm so excited to try this product. I've tried a lot of different products over the years and this is the first of its kind that I've ever tried. There's no real rhyme or reason to this. You're just gonna put a good solid coat on and they say that you need to let it sit at least two hours to make sure it's good and dry before you move on to the second coat. And the second coat is when I'm gonna use that graining tool. And make sure, because you can see here, I already have I don't know if it's a piece of my brush or a piece of hair, but you're gonna wanna make sure you get everything out of there. And if you mess up like that, just go back over it again. And like I said, don't worry about the brush strokes. It's just the first coat. Continue on until you get a good, even coat. Okay, I am almost done with the first coat on the top. It was easy. Now, once you've got your first coat, like, like I said, it's gonna take about two hours for this to dry. Set your timer and come back and check it. We're gonna wanna make sure it's super dry before we start with the second coat. I'm gonna let that sit for two hours and I'll show you guys what that looks like. I'm back, it's been about two hours. Uh, put your hand over the surface. Make sure you don't feel any bumps, everything is dry. And if you do feel some bumps, they said that you can sand it before you go on to paint your second coat. So everything's dry, we're good to go, we're smooth. I'm gonna open this up again. And I'm gonna need to stir it. Don't ever forget to stir it. You don't want the little wood particles to settle at the bottom. You want it to be mixed really well. We're just gonna paint a second coat on here with the same 
um, technique, just long brush stroke. And by the way, this product, one thing that's really cool about this product is it has virtually no VOCs. So you can walk into this room that I've been painting and you don't smell anything, which is pretty darn amazing. Um, it's biodegradable and water-based. And that's really neat because normally y'all, it's very, very, very rare that I ever paint with oil-based paints. Honestly, I just can't handle the smell. So I love when I find products like this that are biodegradable and basically no VOCs. My husband and my kids thank me too. <laughs> I'm not very good about painting outside, which isn't a good thing. Okay, so this is going on really quickly. You don't have to work super quick, but you do uh, want to make sure it's still wet when you use the graining tool. Because remember, it's this coat that I'm actually going to use the graining tool with. Once your second coat is done, I'm gonna take the graining tool. Now the key with the graining tool is you place it down and then as you move it, you roll it. Let me show you how this is gonna work. The thing with the graining tool is, like if you go over an area that you don't like, you can go over it again with the graining tool. If you still don't like it, you take your brush and you apply the liquid glue one more time and then you try it again. Like right here, I don't like how it's, it's honestly, it's pulled up the finish. So I'm gonna take a little more and I'm gonna go back over it. It's pulled up the finish in a couple different places. So I'm gonna try this again. And maybe I'm pressing too hard. I'm just gonna press really lightly and I'm gonna start like this. Rotate it back and forth. And I'm gonna rotate it back and forth. And the key is um, just to really get an even finish. I don't know if you guys can see the grain. I'm gonna try to show you but that is really cool. Remember, this is just an old plastic folding table. So I am going to let this sit and dry, and then we're gonna come back with the um, stain. I am back and it is totally dry. It's smooth and I'm so pleased with how it looks. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous when it was wet because I couldn't really see a lot of the wood grain, but now that it's dry, I totally see it and I think it looks fantastic. So the next step is going to be stain. And I'm using the Reticut uh, Gel Stain in Java. And I love this because um, just like the rest of their products, it's non-VOC, so it doesn't have that, those harsh fumes that uh, most stains have that will practically run you out of the house. So get your gloves, make sure you have your gloves, you have a brush, and you have a lint-free cloth. And we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, you're gonna start with a regular brush or a foam brush. I'm just gonna dip it in here and we're gonna do long, even strokes. Long, even strokes. Now, as far as stain products, they recommend um, stains that are not penetrating. Like Minwax is a penetrating stain. They, they suggest that you stay away from those because this obviously there's nothing really to penetrate because this is just a simple, almost veneer-like layer. So they say um, the Varathane stains are good and of course Reticut makes their own line of stains are fabulous because like honestly guys there's absolutely no odor in this I love the way it's looking so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put um, one layer of the stain on here and then I'm gonna take my lint-free cloth and I'm gonna wipe it off
Once it's on there, take your lint-free cloth, make sure you have your gloves on, and just wipe it smooth. Long brush strokes, or long even strokes. All right guys, I am loving the way this is looking. Uh, the stain is dry. And one tip, if, if it's not dark enough for you, you can always do another layer of stain and then wipe it away. Continue that process until you get the color that you want. So it's dry. My next and last step is to use a sealer and I'm using the Reticut Polyurethane Water-Based uh, in a clear coat satin. So I'm gonna put this on here and I can't wait to show you guys the final product. I hope I've given you an easy tutorial on how to use liquid wood to transform any surface. Thank you to Reticut for allowing me to use their product and have a fun folding table makeover. Thanks for watching guys.